This video is going to explain um, trying to fix the little 700 watt generators. Some of them are called Power Max, some of them are called other little Chinese ones anyway. There's no power output at all from the 12 volt or the 240. Okay, start with removing the fuel tank and the pull cord cover. You tip it up and undo the muffler. So you want to take that whole plastic cover off the actual generator. Undo the three bolts at the end of the generator. Just lift off the end plate, exposing the bearing. Undo the bolt on top of the bearing. And on the other end of the motor, just put a lever or some sort of leverage to stop the whole shaft turning. Be very careful not to break the small plastic fan, they snap very easily. If you just undo the main bolt a little bit and then as you lift the plastic cover with the whole generator, give the bolt a smack and that should separate it from the shaft. Just remove the whole rotor. Normally the culprit is the one of the diodes or both diodes have blown. If you unsolder the two ends, unravel the little copper wires and pull the diodes out. There's also a resistor in there as well which should normally be okay. The resistor should read 15 kilo ohms. If you test the winding with the multimeter set on to 200 ohms you should get a reading of 14 or 15. To test the diode turn it to the diode symbol which is a little arrow with a line at the end of it. You'll get a reading one way and not the other. So the, the reading you'll get on the multimeter should be either 0.3 or 300 to 400. And when you turn the prongs over, left to right, you will get no reading. If you get a reading both ways, the diode is stuffed. Throw it away and get yourself a new one. To test the resistor, the little blue resistor, turn the dial to 20k and then put your prongs across and you'll get a reading of 15. Remove the stator. To test the stator, which should have six wires coming out of it, they might be different colours, turn the multimeter to 200. Black ones should have a reading of 7-ish. Testing the red ones, I've got a reading of 8.9. Testing the green ones, which is the 12 volt side, I've got a reading of 1. What's called a capacitor. To test that, just disconnect it. Set your multimeter to 2M. Terminals onto either one, doesn't matter. And just watch those numbers climb. That means the capacitor is good. Put the top cover back on, just keeping an eye on the, when the through the grill here where the bearing fits over the little pin and uh, don't do these bolts up too tight because the threads will strip pretty easy. 